Good evening. Welcome to the Norse Up Date. I'm your co-anchor, Ethan Wright. And I'm Kayla Ellis. And here's your news for today. The spring semester is upon us, and we want to, all of you freshmen to know all the differences between the semesters, fall and spring. Difference number one, last semester we started off warm and full of hope. This semester it's cold and there's no hope. Just more school. No hope. Last semester the SU was a crazy place where you could meet with your friends, hang out, and eat some food. This semester, it's a place you eat only if you can't afford to eat off campus. <laughs> Last semester, we had welcome week with awesome, exciting activities. This semester, the university essentially says, good job on surviving, see you at graduation, if you make it to that. <laughs> Last semester, when the wind blew on campus, it would normally be met with something like, whoa, getting pretty strong. This semester, when the wind blows on campus, you need to pray that hypothermia takes a while to set in, or there's a large man in front of you blocking most of the doors. <laughs> so there's your differences. All right. In other news, Taylor Swift has recently gained more attention as she is becoming one of Hollywood's most giving celebrities. She has done many things, such as inviting fans to hang out at her, at her house and listen to her new music, attending to a fan's attending a fan's bridal shower, sending fans Christmas gifts, and even giving fans or one fan one thousand nine hundred not woo numbers are hard one thousand nine hundred and eighty nine dollars to help pay off her student loans. Next, Taylor will probably allow a spunky orphan girl who lives in a miserable orphanage to spend a month with her. That is until the little girl charms the hearts of Taylor and everyone around her, and Taylor decides to adopt her for good. Oh wait, no, that's the plot line of the musical Annie. Yeah. <laughs> you had me going though. It seems like something Taylor would do. Um, a good note: 15 states have gas prices under two dollars. That's that's a round of applause. So it's official. <laughs> so it's official. It's now cheaper to buy a gallon of liquefied dinosaurs than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. So there's that a little perspective for you. <laughs> this past Sunday, the Golden Globes were held at the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills. To receive a Golden Globe is a, I know. To receive a Golden Globe is a high honor which recognizes excellence in film and television, both domestic and foreign. Unfortunately for the interview, the recent film and brainchild of childhood friends James Franco and Seth Rogen, there is not a category for best film that offends the world's most dangerous communist leader and makes the whole country afraid that everyone will get blown up. I'll tell you what, they would have had it wrapped up in that category. They would have. They would have. I got one in the bag. <laughs> Good for them. We need to start a hashtag. I know. <laughs> Just so they get the recognition they deserve. Yes. Girl Scout cookies are now on sale at most of your local Girl Scout chapters or outside Walmart. Come to find out, a lot of places have Girl Scout chapters. But one of the greatest cruel ironies of the entire world is why do those peanut butter patties go on sale right as all of us are starting on New Year's resolutions to not be fat lords anymore? <laughs> and there's these little girls just selling those cookies. Dag on. <laughs> I wasn't proud of that joke. <laughs> Yesterday, Maroon 5 released their new music video in which they surprised real couples at their real weddings with a performance. I only wonder how many of those brides regretted who they were marrying once they saw Adam Levine. That would be a pretty awkward wedding ceremony yeah. right there. And now for our feature story. This one is very special for Ethan and myself. As most of you know, this will be the last semester for us seniors at NKU. And most, <laughs> <laughs> and most of us are handling it pretty well, right, Ethan? Yeah, I would say almost all of us. But there are those few seniors that got to get a grip. They're holding on to the old memories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tonight we have brought you one of those very seniors. So please give us a warm welcome to our sentimental senior, Seth. Come on out, Seth. Brought my chair. 
Thank you. Good evening, Seth. How are you? Well. That's probably why, Seth. So. Oh, no. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> Get yourself together, Seth. <laughs> second and while you're collecting yourself and getting TV worthy we're gonna talk about what we're excited to graduate for. Yeah, what are you excited there's for? There's lots of things to be excited about. No more exams, you don't have to get up and go to class, no more mean professors, no more annoying students who raise their hands and ask way too many questions. All the time is there's, that one kid. Yeah, there's a lot of things to be excited now, about. Now what are you excited about Seth? <laughs> There's gotta be something. Looking in my yearbook and reflecting on past memories with great friends. Oh, this might be a bad time to tell you this, Seth, but we don't get yearbooks in college. What? I got one in high school! Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get that to be? What am I supposed to remember names and events and, and their faces? Facebook? What the heck is that? <laughs> you don't know what Facebook is. Gee, you gotta calm down, man. It'll it'll be okay. All right. I, to be honest, I didn't even know you were a senior. Have we have we ever had a class together? How can you not remember? <laughs> Freshman year, second semester, chemistry 101. Oh yeah, we had that class together. Oh, yeah. I was in the front. How can you not see that in my head or something? What was I? What was I doing? Probably sleeping or yeah. picking your nose or probably passing me notes. You dropped it. What? <laughs> you were in there too? You gotta be kidding me! This is no way to remember me. No, you're not clawing. <laughs> Thank you and good night.